whether it's an RPG or an FPS, an action adventure or strategic puzzle. Video games cater to almost every interest. But the world of gaming is still misunderstood, even by gamers. Join us as we look deeper at video games and explore just what it is that captivates this audience. I'm Janice Davis, and this is Pixel Vision. While more people today play video games than ever before, there are still significant misconceptions about gaming. Yet, the average gamer is in their 30s, and up to 70% of all Americans play video games in one form or another. Though many see gaming as an alien concept, games literally have something to offer everyone. The key is how we define games, and the word, gamer. Games can be intimidating. Digital violence may turn off some, despite representing only a portion of all games. Perhaps they have a negative stereotype associated with games. Almost everyone knows at least one person who plays games, but might not understand the appeal. There's a gap in understanding, but our goal as gamers should be to bridge that gap. Gaming is not just children's entertainment or a consoling escape for social outcasts. Lawyers, doctors, athletes, office workers, nerds, jocks, children and adults, even politicians, men and women alike are known to play games. So how do we define someone as a gamer? Well, we all are. Whether it's launching another shot into Angry Birds or quelling terrorism in Call of Duty, if you enjoy solving complex puzzles in Portal or prefer large-scale raids of World of Warcraft, whether you want the rich story of Mass Effect or the action of Gears of War, just as it is in film, gaming has something to offer everyone, and everyone is a potential player. Most of us will never know what it's like to be a secret agent, soldier, or superhero, but video games can place anyone in the role of the hero. Like history? Well, time travel has yet to be invented, and the closest any of us used to get to experiencing 15th century Italy is reading Shakespeare and attending a Renaissance fair. Which, by the way, there's nothing wrong with. But thanks to games like Assassin's Creed and Red Dead Redemption, players have a way of interacting with historical fiction. You can roam freely through diverse environments set anywhere in the world and at any time in history. Like 1984 or Minority Report. Games allow us to theorize about the future. Syndicate imagines a future where corporations have taken control of everything. How would you face a post-nuclear apocalypse? Games like Fallout or Rage give players the opportunity to find out. Or maybe you enjoy exploring deep mythology and long-lost tales. Entire worlds have been created in games like World of Warcraft, Final Fantasy, and The Elder Scrolls, which contain thousands of pages of text, fictional history, and lore. Interactive entertainment provides room for so many storytelling opportunities. For example, Journey took players through a moving and uplifting tale without a single spoken word. The Walking Dead shows the darker side of human choice faced with horrible realities. You become invested in the characters because you are the characters. The idea of a solitary gamer in a dark room is outdated. With 1.5 million players making up 61,000 teams, World of Warcraft tops the NFL, NBA, and MLB combined as a team sport. Speaking of which, Major League Gaming has over 8 million registered gamers. The MLG holds regular tournaments in amateur and pro circuits that are watched by millions worldwide. But don't let these crowds scare you. Gaming with others can also be enjoyed on a much smaller scale too. Some games are designed to be played with friends. Party games like You Don't Know Jack and Mario Party, Nintendo Land, all meant to be enjoyed with others. Despite what you may think, gaming isn't all about bloody violence. It has so much more to offer. If fighting isn't your thing, there are still hundreds, if not thousands of other games out there just for you. There's a huge world filled with even more huge worlds just waiting to be explored. And for those of us who play games, let's spread the word to those who don't. Games are one of the most relevant forms of entertainment today. Let's show everyone why we enjoy what we do. Gaming is social, not antisocial. It's universal, not exclusive. It's everywhere, and it's here to stay. <laughs>